Right, I've now got the Wiimote working with LabVIEW under Windows. This is actually a, a virtual machine running under Linux, but uh, if it works on a virtual machine it should work anywhere. So I'm going to add a Bluetooth device. Um, I'm going to put the Wiimote into discoverable mode, press next. It finds it, that's the one I want. It's asking for a pass key now. Uh, what I discovered on YouTube is if you press Alt-S, it then doesn't require a pass key. Uh, I tick the box, tick finish, uh, and there you are, I've got a connection now to the peripheral device. If I now start LabVIEW, takes a while to start lab view. There we go. So uh, I've got the simple flash LEDs VI which the web page recommends as a, as a simple introduction. I know virtually nothing about lab view. I suspect that's going to have to change over the next few weeks. Um, it's reporting here I think that it's finding the DLL in a different place than it's expecting so I'm just going to click on ignore for that. And if I now click run It's blinking the LEDs, which doesn't look very uh, doesn't look very good. Um, I should also be able to change the status of the LEDs there. Let's try changing that. Yeah, so there is definitely something going on there. Um, the flash is, is doing the binary counting that I was doing in Python earlier on, or I can actually set the values there. It seems like you've got to run this and then stop it and then run it again to initialize it for some reason, but um, there you go. I'm able to interact through LabVIEW with the Wiimote, uh, flashing the LEDs in much the same way that I was doing earlier on. I can set this to a ridiculously low level and it then um, counts up extremely fast and press the stop button to stop. So there you are. There's, uh, it's not something I've written, but uh, it is at least showing that you can make the communication between the Wiimote and LabVIEW running under Windows 